Hello everyone, Aqua Dragon here. Um, a lot of you have been asking about my thoughts about the upcoming rework scheduled for Malzahar soon, and I've linked that right like post in the description below. So to start off with for the TLDR for those of y'all who don't want to watch the whole thing, um, I'm not concerned. A Malzahar is almost certainly going to stay. I am very much looking forward to what Riot has to do with it. I made a Reddit post about the subject, it got about 2,300 points on Reddit at the time of this, which is immensely high, probably the highest rated post I ever made. Um, I'm going to give a transcription of it, and then a riot's response to it. So, let's start with the transcription. So, introduction. As the title of this post suggests, which is, Master Diamond 80 Jungle Malzahar, Malzahar is being reworked, discussing identity. I'm known as the 80 Malz guy for hitting Master of 80 Jungle Malzahar back in Season 4 and retaining Diamond with it into Season 5. For those unaware, Riot is reworking several mobile champions, and among them is Malzahar. I'd like to get Riot's attention now on the state of 80 Jungle Malzahar so that it's possible to give feedback and opinions on the mages before and during their development process rather than only at the tail end. Quote, end. AP Scion, AP Yi, AP Tristana. Many of these off-meta playstyles were largely removed when their champion was reworked, often understandably so. I'm going to give my reasons why 80 miles of heart is a playstyle worth keeping by showing that it does not fall into the same problematic category as other removed off meta playstyles. Then talk about what separates it from 80 miles of heart, and finally the identity of the playstyle. What makes 80 miles of heart jungle worth keeping? Other off meta playstyles, usually AP based, were often removed with reworks. AP Yi was able to burst enemies and regenerate quickly. AP Tristana was able to burst enemies and flee quickly. AP Sion was able to burst enemies and shield quickly. There's a theme here. Problematic playstyles allow for significant bursts without significant retaliation. They unload a huge amount of damage at once, then escape, shield, heal. Meaningful counterplay becomes difficult. What's more, these playstyles were often able to repeat this pattern in lane nearly indefinitely. These problematic aspects do not exist for AD Malzahar. AD Malzahar is inherently a sustained damage champion, less so than even a meta counterpart. To do reliable damage requires significant setup. Every voiding takes 4 spells, and 4 spells requires 400 mana and at least 6 seconds for another set. Even when fully set up, hitting an opponent requires hefty foresights as voidlings have travel time and will not burst the target if they're not already surrounding them. Even when surrounding a target, the damage is dealt with over a large interval, usually 3 plus seconds, instead of all at once. Additionally, 80 miles has no reliable way to mitigate damage or escape after dealing damage. Once they commit into a fight they are only able to kite similar to a marksman but cannot quickly dash away nor heal shield retaliation. 80 Malzahar does not fall into the same category as nearly every other removed playstyle. Now that it's established that the playstyle differs from the pattern and shouldn't be considered problematic, we can discuss whether it has a sufficient identity worth keeping. 80 Malzahar vs AP Malzahar Riot has stated before that for an off meta playstyle to be worth supporting, it must not only be not problematic but also distinct. The most notable instance is when AP Ezreal was stated not to have a sufficient identity compared to AD Ezreal, and therefore it wasn't worth considering when balancing. However, AP Ezreal mains retorted with their experiences, similar to what I'm doing now, showing that AP Ezreal had to play a different pattern than AD Ez, and now Riot recognizes that she was distinct and has mentioned AP Ezreal as a balancing point within her patch notes. AP Malzahar is a mid-range magician focused primarily around zone control, heavy burst damage with the ults, heavy sustained damage without it, and heavy utility. AP Malzahar is a. 80 Malzahar. <laughs> I mix those two up. AP Malzahar is a mid range magician focused primarily around zone control, heavy burst damage with the ults, heavy sustained damage without it, and a strong laning presence. AD Malzahar is a mid range magician focused primarily around voidings for objective control, heavy sustained damage, powerful pushing power, and heavy utility. That last part may stick out. AD Malzahar is the same champion, so how can they have more utility than AP Malzahar, right? AP Malzahar's damage is heavily reliant on the very same spells that provide the enormous 3 second silence and 2.5 second suppress. A compromise must always be made. Save Collar to Void for the silence, or use it for its damage. These two will often but do not always align, but for AD Malzahar where spell damage is significantly less important, spells can always be casted for their raw utility. No trade-off ever has to be made, which allows AD Malzahar to have superior utility. One is a damage-focused, zone-controlling Assassin Magician. The other is a utility focus, objective controlling, marksman magician. The two are practically different champions. Now that an identity has been established, what are the highs and lows of that identity? The identity of 80 Malzahar. There are a couple of things that make 80 Malzahar an intriguing playstyle. The primary ones will be listed. 
Objective Control. Level 3 Rift Heralds, level 2 Dragons, tearing towers apart in seconds, clearing jungle camps by literally walking by without having to stop, minute 20 duo barons. These feats are things that 80 miles of heart is only able to reliably do. Allowing 80 miles of heart to use a voiding's tankiness and high damage to tear apart stationary targets, namely objectives like this dancing Rift Herald here. Massive Utility. People I play against will often joke that 80 miles of hard play style doesn't really seem to build that much AD. Rylai's, Dead Man's Plate, Zona's Hourglass, and even Mikhail's Crucible are all situational items on 80 miles of toolkit. But that's only possible because 80 miles of is able to fully tap into the utility of spells that AP miles of must compromise on, and this utility allows Voidlings to successfully deal damage. Voidling Control. It practically goes without saying that 80 miles of is defined by controlling Voidlings, but it goes a little deeper than that. Tibbers, ghouls, plants, turrets, revenants. Nearly every summon in the game has limited to stationary mobility or is controlled by right clicking the target. But having too much control over a summon means it must be weaker to compensate. Meanwhile, voidings have very limited ability to target, and this is why they are allowed to be both tanky and damaging. Voidings have a very limited ability to target, which means that being able to control voiling priorities almost exclusively by using spells defines 80 miles of heart and justifies the associated strength that voilings are allowed to have due to their limited mobility. The conclusion here, and the big message I want to give, is that 80 miles of heart is a non-problematic playstyle worth preserving and supporting, with an identity significantly different than AP miles of heart. I hope you all enjoyed this reading, and I hope Riot will use this information to help guide their work in the Void's Legion. This is a transcript of Reddit post that I made, and Riot has actually responded to this, namely Riot Repertoire. Riot Repertoire had this to say. Hi Aqua Dragon, I appreciate the post, and I think I'd say I'm pretty much in agreement as far as 80 miles of identity and strength and weaknesses profile. I mentioned this in the dev corner grid, but one of my intentions for miles of heart is that 80 miles remains a viable build for players to currently enjoy. Though any changes to Voidlings whatsoever do run the risk of 80 miles being at least somewhat different, it has been one of my goals since starting work on miles to be respectful of 80 miles and make sure that there's still something enjoyable there post update. Again, thanks for the time. Feel free to reach out to me if you think there's anything you've left out or would like added. Cheers, Repertoire. So y'all, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not concerned. Riot has very explicitly acknowledged that 80 miles of heart is something worth supporting. And that they have very much intended to keep the playstyle as intact as possible. And I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, look at this thing, Null Zone, it's so boring. There's nothing there. Even for 80 miles of heart, it's pretty boring. You just kind of toss it out because you have to. Not because there's like some meaningful choice I have to make outside of Wilderness to make me run out of mana. And I really think Riot's right, gonna hit this rework out of the park, so I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, and I, I guess Velcott's getting a rework too. I mean, that's cool.